Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle paid a visit to Queen Elizabeth. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited the monarch ahead of the 2022 Invictus Games, which are set to take place in the Netherlands. Harry and Meghan visited the Queen at Windsor Castle, it has been confirmed. A spokesperson for the couple confirmed to LMT Channel, we can confirm that they visited the Duke's grandmother, as we previously said he hoped to do. We must add it's crazy how the tabloids have tried to twist the Sussexes' relationship with the Queen. Because if anything Meghan and Harry have said nothing but good things about the Queen and Prince Philip. They even zoom quite often, as Harry revealed to James Corden. Does the Queen Done. know how to use a zoom? Uh, yes. Both my grandparents this do. This is crazy. We've zoomed them a few times, they've seen Archie running around. But my, my grandfather, instead of like pressing leave meeting, yes. he just goes, doof. <laughs> so he's like, bye, bye. And no, I'm, like, as I'm pressing, like, he just leaned forward and goes, doof. I'm like, OK, bye. <laughs> we really love the sweet comparison Meghan made about the Queen's warmth and welcoming nature reminding her of her late grandmother to Oprah. The Queen, for example, has always been wonderful to me. I mean, we had one of our first joint engagement together. She asked me to join her. And Is I was on the train? Yeah, on the yeah. train. Mm -hmm. And we had breakfast together that morning and she'd given me a beautiful gift and I just really loved being in her company. And I remember we were in the car. Can you share what the gift was? Or? Yes, she gave me um, some beautiful pearl earrings and a matching necklace. And um, we were in the car going between engagements and she has a blanket that sits across her her knees for warmth and it was chilly and she was like Megan come on and put it over my knees as well oh, right nice. like just moments of and it made me think of my grandmother where she's always been warm and inviting and and really welcoming so okay so she made you feel welcome yes. did you feel welcomed by everyone so from Chicago thank you from Chicago oh, oh you're beautiful oh, you you've so made my sweet. life <laughs> <laughs> Jeanette. Jeanette, thank you. That was my grandma's name. No! <laughs> this marks the first time the former suit star has been back in the UK. After she had her husband exited as senior working royals for a more private life in the United States, making his last photograph with the royal family while attending a Commonwealth. The service in March 2020, Harry had previously seen his family when visiting for Prince Philip's funeral in April 2021 and that he later returned in July 2021 to attend the unveiling of a statue in honor of his late mother, Princess Diana at Kensington Palace's Sunken Garden, where he was seen with his brother, Prince William. The news of Meghan and Harry's visit with the Queen comes after it was revealed. She won't be joining the congregation in person for the annual Easter service at St. George's Chapel at Windsor this Sunday. Other members of the royal family will be in attendance and they may drop by to see the Queen afterwards in private, similarly to Meghan and Harry's recent visit LMT channel previously spoke with DailyMail.com. Charlie Langston about life after the couple have exited as senior working royals and how they are perceived in the UK since moving to America to live a more private life. I think the shock of Mexit has definitely worn off. I think the general feeling now among people in the UK is almost a kind of not knowing what will happen next. I think Meghan and Harry have continued to prove that they will throw curveballs at every available opportunity, whether that's an Oprah interview that kind of devastates the royal family or whether it's an appearance on Ellen where, you know, Meghan is kind of playing the fool in a silly prank. Um, so the shock, yes, definitely worn off, but the apprehension is still there. I don't think anyone knows what they're going to do next. And that still means there's a little bit of fear within the royal family, especially, you know, they're kind of, they've almost become like the Thomas Markle. You know, there was a time where no one knew what Thomas Markle was going to say next, what he was going to do next, what TV show he was going to appear on next. And I think Harry and Meghan have now kind of prompted that same feeling in the UK and especially within the royal family. And I can imagine that behind closed doors, Buckingham Palace's most senior advisors are still very nervous about what the two of them could say next. We obviously know that Harry is planning on writing a book and there is a huge amount of fear about what might be written in those pages. So we just have to wait and see. 
quick disclaimer. Everything in this video and all of my videos are my opinion based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. Meghan Markle steps down from position after loss of a close friend. It's no secret that there are many perks to being royal. Not only do you get added to the family payroll, but you also get to choose which charities you want to work with. And at the beginning of her role as the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle became the royal patron of four special organizations. Unfortunately, when you give up your status as a senior royal, many of the related perks get taken away. And of course, in 2020, Meghan and Prince Harry decided to step down as senior members of the royal family. After spending some time on Vancouver Island in Canada, they made Montecito in California their home, where they now live with son Archie and daughter Lily Bet. A huge thing that Meghan and Harry seemed to bond over was their passion for philanthropy. It was one of the first things we started talking about when we met was just the different things that we wanted to do in the world. Not content with simply throwing money at a problem or putting their name on a building. The Sussexes enjoy getting their hands dirty and helping on the ground when needed. However, on March 31, 2021, the couple was given a one-year transitional period to wrap up their royal affairs, according to People. Now that transition period has elapsed. Meghan has had to say goodbye to some of her favorite charities. Meghan Markle's royal patronage with Mayhew has ended. Meghan's departure from her role as a senior member of the royal family has changed many aspects of her life. Importantly, she's been forced to cut down on her UK charity work. Meghan had initially become the royal patron of the National Theatre, the Association of Commonwealth Universities, Mayhew, and Smart Works. However, Meghan has found herself having to step back from the organization she once loved supporting. As of April 6, 2022, the Duchess' contributions to Mayhew, an animal welfare charity, have officially ended. A new statement from Mayhew explained, our royal patronage with the Duchess of Sussex came to an end at the beginning of the year. It's been an incredible privilege for Mayhew to have worked closely with Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, since 2019, when she became our patron. Meghan also shared her sadness about stepping down from the role, explaining in Mayhew's statement. Though my time as patron of Mayhew has come to a close. My unwavering support has not. I encourage each of you to support in whatever way you are able. The emotional support of a rescue animal is unparalleled, as you'll soon realize, it is not you who saves them, it is they who save you. The Daily Mail noted that Camilla Parker Bowles will begin supporting the National Theatre in Meghan's place. But not the other three charities. She also lost the friend who introduced her to the charity. It's also worth noting that the timing of Meghan's split from Mayu comes at a heartbreaking time. According to People, the Duchess close friend, Oli just passed away unexpectedly in January 2022, right around the time when Meghan's royal patronage was coming to an end. The moment was particularly shocking considering that Just, who worked as an animal behaviorist, was the one who introduced Meghan to Mayhew in the first place. Meghan had a close bond with Just as she turned to him and his fiance, Rob, to look after her injured rescue dog when she first arrived in the UK, as Megan told people. They loved him as though he was their own. It was just passion for caring for animals that compelled Megan to work with Mayhew as part of her royal patronage. Importantly, the Duchess is not letting her friend be forgotten. The Duchess of Sussex said in a statement on the Mayhew website, It has left me, and so many others, heartbroken and reflective. Knowing that the legacy he leaves for our furry friends is beautifully simple, just love them. Megan noted that the only just wing at Mayhew will be established in his memory, intended to house animals that have long had trouble being adopted. As Megan explained in her statement, because much like Oli, they will never be forgotten and they will always be loved. It's nice to see that, just because her royal reign is over, Megan isn't completely severing ties with the causes she believes in. This might be the end of her royal patronage, but she's still a philanthropist at heart. Stop.
check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to LMT channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.